that his left hand was also tied up. Then that rules out his left hand. No, yes! Okay, there we go. We got there. Hold on. It's still too <clears throat> early to dismiss the possibility that he used his left hand. Why? I mean, his left hand was tied up, you know? But there was something off about his left hand. The blood stain on the palm of his hand. Don't you think it looked somewhat strange? He only had blood on the lower area of his palm. Beyond that point, the blood stain suddenly cuts off, right? When the blood splatters, that's as far as it reached, right? That settles the description of that blood stain. But it's not the only unnatural blood stain. Look, there's blood on the back of his hand. Around the middle joint of his fingers. Like you said, it looks like an unnatural blood stain, but what's wrong with that? We might need to think and use our imaginations for a bit. If there's blood on his palm and the back of his hand, what was his left hand doing as the blood splattered? What was Nagito doing? Gripping. I see. When the blood splattered, he was probably gripping with his left hand. That's why there's such a strange looking blood stain on his palm and the back of his hand. Was he grabbing his front tail? <laughs> Perish the thought! He was obviously grabbing the spear! Now that you mention it, compared to the rest of his body, the wounds on his left arm are pretty mild. He probably made his wounds mild on purpose, so he could keep his strength while he gripped the spear. But even if he held the spear with his tied up left hand, it'd be impossible for him to stab himself. That's right, that's hey, the Jack, problem. What do you think? Hey, don't tell me you're getting sleepy. At times like this, you should always strike from a good angle. Just like fixing an old TV. Oh, I got it. Maybe. Huh? Really? Yeah, like I thought. It's no mistake that Nagito was gripping the spear. I think. However, what's important is what section of the spear he was gripping. The section of the spear he was gripping. The handle? No. Crap! Could it have been the cord? I see. It was the cord. That's it. Instead of the handle, Nagito must have been holding on to the cord. There was a metal weight at the tip of the cord, but there were blood stains on that part too. Plus, the joint between the weight and the cord had a bloodstain shape like it was cut off by something. Ah, yes, I forgot about that. Isn't the size of that cut-off section about the same size as a human fist? They said that, too. Oh, you're right. So this is the part Nagito was gripping, huh? And then the blood that was supposed to end up here ended up getting on Nagito's left hand. But why is it so important to know which part of the spear he was gripping? You're not going to say he gripped the tip of the cord, swung the spear around, and stabbed himself, right? That is where the clue to solve this mystery resides. Right, Chiaki? I am sorry. Of course this mystery will not be solved that easily. Hmm, Nagito was gripping the cord extending from the butt of the spear with his left hand. But from there, how would he stab himself in the stomach with the spear? Hmm. Hmm. It seems we are stuck. Shall we have tea time? At a time like this, how about we stick to the plan to think one step at a time instead of expecting the answers all at once? That's a long plan, Nane. One step at a time? What does that mean? Let's focus on the spear first. Namely, where it was and how it was positioned just before it impaled Nagito. How it was positioned? Nagito was facing up and the spear was stabbed through his stomach. So if it's just before that, that's it. Could it be? The state of the spear. The fact that Nagito was holding the tip of the cord attachment. I put it to if I put it together and think about it, I should be able to figure it out. Where was the spear or where the spear was and what state it was before Nagito Okay. Logic diving. Okay. This might be an opportunity for me to recuperate some of my HP. I'm hoping, at least.
Question one. Where was the spearman impaled Nagito? Uh, above him, is what my thought process was, at least. Like, making the spear drop? Oh, shoot. They're moving obstacles now! I don't like that they're moving obstacles now. Okay. Question two. Besides the spear, what else was above Nagito? The ceiling grinder. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh no, I didn't get any health from logic type, excuse me? What? How did I not gain a single point of health from logic type? Nope. I didn't realize I wasn't getting any health from logic type. I thought I was gonna gain something from it, so. Oh. Wow, I am struggling way more now. The red is gonna be up here. No, wait, wait, whoa, 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 they changed the colors. Oh, I can't believe they did that to me, chat. They changed the freaking colors. Oh my god. Can we actually play the game? Question three coming up. Let's see, what do we've got this right? What item connects both the spear and the grinder? The rope, the rope, I think. Wait, is it the one on the left? I think it's the one on the left. No, it's not. Okay. The spear core connects to them. Okay, wait, anyway, I feel better. <laughs> Instantly feel a thousand times better. Above the ceiling right now. The spear impaled Nagito as he was laying face up. It must have been perpendicular to him just before that. Perpendicular? In the middle of the air? If Nagito did that all by himself... Did he have some sort of ESP? That'd be awesome, but he probably used the ceiling girder directly above him. Nagito probably slung the cord over the ceiling girder, and using that as a support, he hoisted the spear directly above him. And if Nagito let go of the cord, the spear would have fallen and impaled him while he was laying face up. I noticed a slight red streak on the ceiling girder. It probably got smeared there during the setup. The blood on the cord probably rubbed off on the ceiling girder as the spear was falling. So, how about it? Using this method, Nagito could have impaled himself with the spear. Are you serious? He really committed suicide? Like that? He probably chose that spear so he could commit suicide like that. If someone else did this... There's no reason they go to all this trouble just to kill someone with a spear. I agree. When I was investigating this case, I kept thinking over and over how strange it was. Why did the killer use the knife and the spear so differently? So you're saying he needed to use that spear to pull off his trick? Then this is for real? He really committed suicide? Every single wound on his body, that was all him? He's crazy enough for it, which is insane. Not that. He did all that while he was gripping the spear? That spear should not have stabbed Nagito until the very end. Which means Nagito wounded himself while he was gripping that spear, right? Damn. He duct tape on his mouth, too? He probably covered his own mouth so he wouldn't hear him screaming in pain. Did he need to go that far? That's beyond crazy. Why would he do that to himself? He was probably trying to get us to make a mistake. By committing a suicide that looked like a murder, he was trying to steer us toward the wrong answer. His goal was to get us all executed. And, and that's why he stabbed himself over and over again? Did he want us to die that bad? That's messed up. That's seriously so messed up. Yeah, that's our Nagito. Jeez, and I was starting to feel a little sympathetic towards him. How stupid of me. I completely underestimated the capacity of malice. 
a mind-boggling malice that threatens us even after he's died. That's the form of his malice took. I had forgotten all about it till now. If he were here, he'd probably be sneering However, at me. However, there is one thing I still do not understand. He said he would reveal the traitor, right? Whatever became of that? He was probably planning to kill the traitor along with the rest of us. So why did he not just do that in the first place? If he had no qualms with killing everyone, he did not have to cause a bomb scare to reveal the traitor. I bet the bomb scare was part of the strategy behind this trick. He made us split up and search for a bomb so none of us would have an alibi. He created a scenario where any of us could have killed him. He tried to make us doubt each other. And tried to hide the truth behind his suicide. Did he cause a bomb scare for that reason alone? He's a fucking bastard who killed himself for his delusions of grandeur. It's not that unthinkable. You are right, I suppose. Yeah, it appears we've come to a conclusion. Bastard Nagito committed suicide. It was all done by him so he'd be executed. Hmm, that should be okay, right? <sighs> what, you're not satisfied yet? No, I agree that Nagito killed himself, but I feel like there's something that doesn't make sense. It's probably just my imagination. Why? I mean, I sort of understand what she's talking about. I don't think it's a mistake to assume that Nagito committed suicide, but why do I feel so uneasy about him? Is it because like, we don't know who the traitor is, so or... what are you gonna do? Is it okay to proceed with the voting time? What do you think, Akane? Well, there's no doubt Nagito's death was a suicide. Oh well, I guess my gut is wrong sometimes. You are right. It is not as though we can draw any other conclusion. Then... It's okay to end it here, huh? That means we're done with this last class trial and we can leave this island, right? It's okay to reach such a happy ending, right? Then it's okay? It's okay to say, we've decided on the killer? Understood. Then voting time. We're going to say this is going to stop. No. Hold on Yep, a we're stopping it. He's rushing it like he did in the Hold fifth on. class trial on the last time. Sorry, just a little more. I want you guys to wait just a little more. I can't help but feel like it. There's still something we overlooked. Like who the traitor is? But the issue here is who killed Nagito, right? Even if we identify the traitor, the conclusion won't change. That's true, but... The mystery isn't just about who the traitor is. No matter how you look at it, Nagito's death is a suicide. But I'm a little worried, you know? I'm worried about starting the voting time while there's still a mystery. Hey, what do you mean it's not about who the traitor is? What kind of mystery is left? There's just one thing that doesn't make sense. And it relates to Nagito's death. Plus, it's something even Nagito couldn't influence. He couldn't even tamper with the evidence for it. Something related to Nagito's death and it's something he couldn't have messed with. You were going to keep going? Here, I thought we were finally finished. Something related to Nagito's death, a piece of evidence that he couldn't even mess with. The hope thing. Crap. No! Shoot! Crap. We haven't even gotten to that, which is interesting. Crap. What? All of this is not... Wow. Piece of evidence that even he couldn't mess with. Oh, the Monokuma file. Duh. Oh my god, that took way too long. Is it about the Monokuma file? Yeah, that's it. Huh? There was something suspicious in the Monokuma file? That was dumb of me to go cycling through things. The body was discovered inside the warehouse near the Monokuma Plushie Factory. The estimated time of death is believed to be noon sharp. Not only is there a spear stabbed in his stomach, there are multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. Furthermore, there is a laceration on his left arm and a knife impaled through his right hand. The suspicious part of the Monokuma files that Chiaki is worried about is... What is it? What is hidden in the Monokuma file? Oh, crap. I knew a Hangman's Gambit was coming because we didn't have one yet.
There's so much. Oh, cause of death. Cause of death. Oh my god. Way too far. That's a bit too far. Get this the other way. Again, too far. Too far. Too far. Eat. case is Monokuma file. There's no specific cause of death. Not only is the spear stabbed in his stomach, there are multiple stab wounds on his thighs. Furthermore, there's a laceration on his left arm and a knife impaled through his in his hand. Isn't that weird? Until now, the files always specified the cause of death. But the cause of death is obvious, is it not? The spear in Nagito's stomach. It is obvious just by looking at it that it was a cause of death. Maybe it's not included if it's not important enough to write about. Well, Monokuma. I please accept! Here he goes again! I'm so appalled that I have nothing to say! But even during Gundam's case, and before during Nikon's case, the thing he purposely omitted from the Monokuma file was always the most important mystery in the case. Are you saying that applies this time too? <sighs> hold, hold on a sec. Then are you saying there's more to Nagito's death? Are you suggesting again that his death wasn't a suicide? You guys were the ones who said it was a suicide in the first place. No, I don't think it's a mistake to call Nagito's death a suicide. But, but, it's not just a suicide. Come to think of it, did Nagito really really commit suicide just to get us all killed are you sticking up for him that's not what i meant i mean it in a bad sense bad sense i just remembered that his malice always defied our expectations and that concerns me for example would that malice just end here huh did nagito's malice drive him to risk his life for a truth we'd reach this easily i mean this is nagito we're talking about you know <laughs> how interesting you sure do believe in Nagito, huh? Because you believe in his malice, you continue to suspect his malice. I see. I guess that's what passes for friendship these days. What friendship? What should we do, you guys? Should we proceed with the vote? I think we should keep going until everyone is satisfied, even if it's just to be safe. I agree. You are right. We only get one chance to vote after all. Just to be safe. I guess I have no choice. If that's the case, I'll do my best to go along with it. This is friggin' annoying. But if you guys say you're doing it, there's no way I'm gonna back out. Hey, Monokuma, you heard us. The voting's gonna have to wait. We've come this far. Let's work hard till the very end. If we work together, everything should be all right. That's what I believe. Oh, splendid. You guys are so splendid right now. That's right. If all your hopes are united, no despair can shake you. If all your hopes are united, then no despair can shake you, huh? Now that I think about it, Nagito said the same thing. The absolute hope can overcome any despair. He said he was yearning for that. Then the situation we're in might be the thing that Nagito wanted all along. No, never mind. I'm probably overthinking. That is going to bring us to intermission. It is going to bring us to intermission. That, the fact that that's intermission point is insane. No, no. Man, my heart was racing like crazy when I thought voting time was going to start. But, well, if you think about it rationally, there's no way it was going to happen. We haven't done this a, but a bit yet. Most of the players probably figured that out too. Or haven't we done this bit yet? Oh, wait, is it, haven't we done this bit yet?
We haven't done this bit yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, okay, yeah. <coughs> I didn't read it right. I just didn't think I read it right. Most players probably figured that out, too. The other one who didn't know... Isn't that right, Monty? Hey, how much longer are you planning to sulk? Let's get along like we always do. All right, you passed. Friendship is measured by how long you can stand in silence when all you're all alone with someone else. So, Monty and I are the bestest of friends. Don't say such stupid things. I hate you so much right now. Uh, no. Why do I have to be hated that much? Besides the fact that you snap at me like that, I don't trust you at all. Not one teensy bit. How sad. Distrusting your friend is more shameful than being betrayed by that friend, you know. We aren't even friends in the first place. Ah, uh, then as your older brother, let me say this. You're not even my brother. It's sad to live a life without friendship. That's even sadder than watching a high school rom-com full of guys. That's not even sad, though. Honestly, I'd watch it. Um, well, there may be some demands for that. I mean, exactly, Monami. Monami knows where it's at. I totally fell for it. I took the man bait. I mean, I take the man bait all the day. Freaking every day. So, well, it is, so. I'm Monami. By now, there's nothing more for me to say. Anyway, my chest is full of pride right now. Everyone is united against despair. They're totally awesome. That's why I'm gonna fight too. I will fight the only way I can. I'm gonna show that guy my fearsome retaliation. That's basically it. So if we're working together, where do we start? With the cause of death missing from the Monokuma file? Why don't we try removing all our preconceived notions before we discuss this? In the beginning, our discussion advanced by assuming Nagito's death was caused by the sphere. It's better to confirm if there are any other possibilities. That's what I think. Other possibilities? Huh. If something other than the sphere killed Nagito, all I can think of is the knife stabbed into his hand, but... That was definitely a gruesome wound, but it wouldn't be the fatal wound, don't you think? <laughs> if you think the cuts on his legs and left arm aren't the fatal wounds... Hmm. Are we finished already? I feel like... It's possible that we overlook something. Could it have been suffocation? Then let's bring up whatever we can think of, one after the other. That might clear some things up. Exactly. We should cooperate at a time like this. A fatal wound that wasn't the spear. We don't even know if that actually exists, but if it does, we need to find out, no matter what. It could be the duct tape. Duct tape's on there as well. Let us consider a different fatal wound. It's not the knife in his right hand, right? It's oh, the poison! The wounds, right? With all those wounds... Maybe he simply bled to death. There's no way he burned to death. Was the cause of death something that cannot be seen? Ah! Was the cause of death something... Nice! I agree with that. We did good there. That's it. I totally forgot about that possibility. If the cause of death was something we can't see... Then we have to consider poison as a possible method. Poison? It is true that poison is not something we can see, but why did you bring that up all of a sudden? I remember. When I went to investigate Nagito's cottage, I discovered something really strange. Inside the refrigerator, I found a bottle of Monokuma's special poison. Poison? Additionally, that's a poison made specifically for killing. I see. Now that you mention it, there's no way a toxin like that doesn't relate to the case at all. If, if poison was a cause of death, it would not leave an obvious wound on Nagito's body. However, it's common for blood blotches to appear on a body that's been poisoned. I see. You sure seem to know a lot about medicine. What does that mean? But, 
Even if blood blotches appear, if the body was already covered in blood, there's no way we'd notice them easily, right? It, did he wound his body just to camouflage them? That's also a possibility. But still, both of Nagito's hands were full. So how would he drink poison? His left hand was tied up and gripping the spear, and his right hand had a knife stuck in it. If it was a slow-acting poison, it is possible he consumed it in advance. No, the warning label on the bottle explicitly states the effect is instant. Then it's impossible. Both his hands were full just before he died. And this is when the hard tail appears! You're totally overvaluing that tail! His mouth was covered with duct tape, you know. If he wanted to drink poison, how do you get it past his lips? If there's no way he could have drank the poison, it might be impossible. Just kidding. It's not like we're out of possibilities yet. Are there any left? Hell no! No matter how you slice it, he was totally killed by that spear! Since we've already ruled out so many possibilities, it might be easier to think about what really killed him. Operation Elimination Method! The hint should be written on the poison's warning label. Maybe. The way the poison entered Nagito's body, the answer is written on the warning label. So think carefully and try to remember it. Ah, oh, shoot. I won't be able to... No, okay. What did it say on the bottle? We should have stopped on the bottle. I just wasn't expecting a question like, bro. Was not expecting to get hit with this kind of question. Oh, jeez. Oh, we were, we were really writing that line. Okay. Isn't it a gas? It's a gas. 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 Oh, no. Oh, wow. I got double points. Oof. <clears throat> Question two. Oh, that was a trick point, at least. Wow, okay, that was pretty proud of that. Hello. Uh, how did the poison enter his body? Oh, no, 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 through the, it's through his nose. Wait. Actually, could it have been through the wounds themselves? Maybe he wounded himself on purpose. No, he didn't. Oh, I was right the first time. Damn it. I had it, and I just questioned myself. That was split second questioning. We'll do that sometimes. These are really getting a lot more difficult, and I am both here for it and scared of it. Because, like, the hard thing is you don't want to mess up. Oh, there's only two questions on this. We can take a slow then. I didn't catch it. There's two questions. <laughs> Oops. What if instead of drinking the poison, we assume he inhaled it? Inhaled? It's written on the poison's warning label. Enhanced liquid is highly potent and takes effect immediately. Please handle with care. Though the volatil volatility is low, this liquid is very dangerous when vaporized. Dangerous when vaporized. In other words, breathing in the gas is fatal. Poison gas! Then all he had to do was breathe it in through his nose! He breathed that poisonous gas inside the warehouse? But if poisonous gas had spread throughout the warehouse, why didn't it kill us? The fire and the water. The sprinklers in the warehouse. Thanks to those, we didn't inhale that poison gas. <clears throat> the poison gas disappeared because of the sprinklers? It wasn't the fire? Well, this was also written on the poison's warning label. In the Geisha state, it is heavier than air, and it breaks down in minutes, and it is susceptible to hydrolysis. So it is possible for you to poison someone to death without any complications. Of course! Hydrolysis! The chemical bonds that form the poison were broken down by the water from the sprinklers! Also, the poison is apparently denser than air, so it probably didn't affect us because we were standing. But Nakito was laying down, so he must have breathed in a whole bunch of it, huh? If it meets the requirements that well, maybe it's not just a possibility anymore. Yeah, the true cause of Nagito's death 
was poisoned. The wounds on his body, the spear in his stomach, it was all to keep us from learning the truth. So what? Huh? We figured out that Nagito died from poison, but so what? In the end, it doesn't change the fact that he committed suicide, right? Then enough already! Nagito inhaled the poison he prepared and died. Yeah, that still sounds like a suicide. Well, with this, we have a clearer picture. We've also determined the true cause of death. All right, all the mysteries should be solved now. We should get on with the voting time, right? Uh, no. What? There's still more? I mean, not all the mysteries have been solved yet. In the end, Nagito's motive is still unclear. Did he commit suicide just to kill every last one of us? Was that really his motive? Is that really okay? Hey, what happened? There's no reason to wonder about that stuff anymore, you know. Nagito's motive, Nagito's malice. Is this really okay? Can we really finish this here? No, there that can't be. An accomplice. Huh? Ch Chiaki, what did you just say? Exactly. If Nagito committed suicide by inhaling poison that he brought. It, yeah, 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 because... Then why wasn't there anything that looked like poison at the crime scene? Because it got put away in Nagito's anything place. Anything that looked like poison? If Nagito brought poison to the warehouse, it's strange that we couldn't find it there. If Nagito really brought the poison to the warehouse, then the thing that would have been left behind is the container. I see. Are you talking about the container the poison was kept in? Yeah. If Nagito brought it, it's strange we couldn't find that container anywhere, right? He can't carry around poison without putting it in a container? Yeah, that was written on the warning label. Keep liquid secure by storing it in a cool place in a glass or plastic container away from the sunlight. The container probably melted in the fire. No, because we literally had it. Probably plastic or glass, right? There's no way it'd completely incinerate. Even the plastic fragments of the fire grenades we used to put out the fire didn't completely burn up, you know? Then, does that mean someone got rid of the container? So that's why you mentioned an accomplice. Th that is impossible. I mean, an accomplice? It is just too... Like, does that really matter all that much? You're only saying that because the accomplice is most likely your hoe. 